talks to us a little bit about hashtag BNI Club. Sebastian. Thanks so much. Good morning, Biscayne Connection. Good morning. Are you serious? The largest chapter in Miami. That's all I get. Let's try one more time. Good morning, Biscayne Connection. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Sebastian Rusk. I am the host and founder of Social Buzz TV. We're an integrated solution that helps businesses and brands build their social media strategy, but that's not what I'm going to talk to you about today. Uh, late last year, BNI Miami Dade contracted our agency to launch the social media strategy that is now BNI Buzz for BNI Miami Dade. Part of that is visiting awesome chapters like this one, helping you guys better understand what you don't know that you don't know about social media, delegating a webmaster to help host on a weekly basis, giving you tips, tricks, tools, ideas that you can integrate into your chapter, and then by default, you'll be able to integrate into your business. Why? Because we are digitally addicted. We post a picture, sit, and we wait for that first like to go. Shot of dopamine, I'm awesome. That's the reality. So why not leverage that to be able to impact three plus one? To be able to impact what I refer to as four R's, relationships, retention, referrals, and recognition. That's what social media allows us to do. There's two types of people. People that are in B&I and love it, and people that are not in B&I and think it's a cult. And that's just a lack of understanding. Because when we walk out this door after the meeting, unless we have a one-to-one -one or business to tend to, the B&I conversation stops. My question is, why? We are the world's largest networking organization, and we are, in fact, the largest region in the United States and number three in the world. Isn't that something that you want to talk about? Well, how do we do that, Sebastian? We've got everything else going on in life. Well, you walk in the door, you take a quick selfie with one of your colleagues, or take a picture of the person doing the educational moment, tag their business, have the webmaster post it to the, to the, to the page. Maybe you're already doing that. I know there's several chapters that are active with that. And then you can take that content and personally share it on your personal page and say, hey, I had a great time at my B&I meeting. Do you know what b &I is? It's this place that I show up every week at 6.45 in the morning, develop relationships, build my business. Is that something that you'd be interested in for your business? Again, the conversation, however you cater to your audience, you know best, but it's about starting the conversation. I believe social media allow us to drop the silos of people saying, I don't really like that. I, I, I tried that B&I thing. I'm, I'm good. Or I'm involved with something. It's, it's, it's kind of like B&I, but not really. Like those conversations start to happen and, 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 and people think there's a better way, but there's not. There's a rhyme and reason that B&I works. Because there's a system that's been in place for over 30 years. Now we're implementing social into that actual existing structure that works. And I do believe that it will impact your business, your chapter, and the all around way that we communicate. Could you imagine visitors day if everybody was all hands on deck with social media in addition to looking envelopes and inviting people? If we took those two things together, old school meets new school, I firmly believe we'll break some records. You guys are already breaking records being the largest chapter here. So is there, is there, give me an idea, is there a webmaster that posts stuff or is there several people that post right here? Okay, awesome. So that's, that's your girl. And every time you post a picture or something we want up on the uh, b and uh, 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 chapter page, She's the one to do it. And then you personally go in and share that information with your network and say something quick about it. Has anyone ever gotten a referral on social media? Show of hands. Yeah, this stuff works. And if you haven't gotten a referral from social media yet, you're probably doing it wrong, dude. So um, I strongly suggest that you simply ask for introductions, talk to people that you want to be introduced to, do this through LinkedIn, do this through Facebook Messenger. There's a large platform out there called Twitter that's the most powerful <laughs> website on the planet. Start conversations um, and, and wherever you feel comfortable doing so. I know people are starting to turn the corner a little bit more and say, okay, well, I'll send a Facebook message or I'll actually respond to a LinkedIn message. But this is in fact the way that we now communicate. A couple years ago, I was in Times Square and I was wandering around and, and just taking a, a look around and everyone was looking at their phones. I'm like, I'm standing in the advertising mecca of the world where brands spend billions of dollars to advertise, yet everyone's looking down at their phone. Why? Because we no longer have to look for news and information. It comes directly to us. So if you have any questions, thoughts, concerns, ideas about social media pertaining to BNI Buzz, pertaining to your business, whatever we can do to be a resource. I don't work for BNI, uh, but my agency is the, the agency of record for BNI Miami Day to execute their social media strategy. And part of that is me running around. I usually have a bow tie on. Sometimes I mix it up with the
with the social bus shirt, but make sure you grab my car and make sure that we connect. I'd love to have coffee with you, answer any questions that you might have. And thank you so much for uh, welcoming me in this morning and allowing me to, to, uh, to give you a good overview of what we're doing with this whole BNI Buzz thing. My name is Sebastian Ross with Social Buzz TV. Thanks, folks.